Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, block style slideshow in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. Here you can see, I have already imported media files for this demonstration. And at end of this tutorial, I am going to show you. How you can create multiple slides and create slideshow. And how you can duplicate compositions and replace them easily, so watch till the end of this video. You can also get this complete slideshow template from my store, download link is provided in the description. Now let's start with creating our slideshow. Create a new composition. Name it as slide 1. Make sure width and height is set to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 3 seconds. And if you want this slideshow to be fast, then you can reduce the time duration. Select the Rectangle tool. Here you can set fill color for your shape. Create shape covering the whole frame. Perfect. Now let's create another shape. Change fill color to differentiate it from others. Similarly, we will create 4 to 5 rectangle shapes. Here you can create shape of your choice. Perfect. Now select both shape layers. Pre-compose them. We will name it as transition 1. Now let's add media file to timeline. Pre-compose it. Name it as media1. For media1 composition, in effects and preset. Search for motion tile. Add it to media composition. Here we will set output width and height to 200. Now in effects and preset, search for displacement map. Add it to media composition. For displacement map. Change map layer to transition 1. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now change max horizontal displacement value as shown. Set it to near about 1000. Create keyframe for max horizontal displacement. Press U to view created keyframes. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Change max horizontal displacement value to 0. Change vertical displacement to 0. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust speed graph as shown. Perfect. Select trap pixel around. For media composition, press S to bring up scale. At 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for scale. At 2 seconds and 10 frames, change scale value to 50%. 
Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now let's add the text. Here I am using Montserrat font family. Font style to black. Here you can adjust the font size. Let's align the text to center. Perfect. Now let's animate the text. For text layer, in animate, select tracking. In range select a 1. At start, create keyframe for offset. Change offset value to minus 100%. Now at 1 second and 20 frames. Change offset to 100%. In advanced. Change based on two words. Change shape to ramp up. Change easy high to 25%. Easy low to 50%. For animator 1, let's add property position. Set position for y axis to near about 200. You can see the preview. For animator 1, let's add property, opacity. Set opacity to, 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our text part is created. Now let's create colored block reveal part. Create a new solid layer. Name it as color. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to solid layer. Change fill color. Here you can set any color of your choice. For color layer, we need to set opacity to 75%. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as noise. In effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to noise layer. For noise, change contrast to 200. At start of the timer line, create keyframe for brightness. At 2 seconds. Change brightness value to near about 200. You can see the preview. Press U to view keyframes. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now here we need to create rectangle shapes, covering the whole screen. Select rectangle tool. Change color to white. You need to create rectangle shape as shown. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this shape. Position it below shape layer 1. Perfect. Similarly, we will create multiple shapes and position them one after the other. Perfect. Now select all the shape layers. Press P to bring up position. Now at 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. At start of the timer line, adjust position value for X axis as shown. Here we will slightly adjust the position of each shape layer.
you can see the preview. Press U to view created keyframes. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for mosaic. Add it to adjustment layer. Set horizontal block and vertical block to 5. Now select created shape layers. Precompose them. Name it as shape. Fine noise layer. Change track mat to alpha mat shape. Select Noise, Shape and Adjustment Layer. Pre-compose them, name it as Transition 2. For Color Layer, change Track Mat to, Lumo Inverted Mat Transition 2. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here you can set any color of your choice. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves. Add it to adjustment layer. Adjust curves as shown. In effects and preset, search for tint, add it to adjustment layer. Adjust the tint color. Amount of tint to 10%. Create duplicate of tint. Change color to blue. In effects and preset, Search for Sharpen. Add it to Adjustment Layer. Change Sharpen Amount to 5. Let's see the preview. Perfect, here our slide is created. Now let's see how to create multiple slides. First, we will create a duplicate of media composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Here I will create four duplicates. Now open this composition in timeline. Here we will replace this image, media 1, which is already added in this composition. Select the image which we are going to replace. We are going to replace media 1 with media 5. While pressing ALT key, drag and drop Media 5 image over Media 1. This will replace Media 1 with Media 5 image. Similarly, we will do this for remaining 3 compositions. Replace Media 1 with Media 4. Replace Media 1 with Media 3. Replace Media 1 with Media 2. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of slide composition. Create four duplicates. Open the slide compositions. For each slide, we need to replace the media composition. Select media 1 composition. Select media 5 composition, while pressing ALT key. Drag Media 5 Composition over Media 1. Media Composition is replaced. Similarly, we will do this for remaining 3 slide compositions.
perfect. Now let's change the text for each composition. Now let's create our last and final composition. Name it as Slideshow. Here we will set time duration to 10 seconds. Let's add all the 5 slide compositions to Timeline. Place each composition at distance of 2 seconds. Perfect. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can also make changes in the block transition. By changing it to vertically, horizontally or diagonally. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.